They're saying you made this. Uh, yeah, Trump for King. 2018. Yes, it says coronate Donald Trump, keep America Trump 2024. I originally made the flag because I knew Trump was going to win. We all, well, he did. He won the second time. So I made this flag for his third term so he could declare himself king and just bypass the Constitution altogether because apparently nobody follows the Constitution in America anymore. So we might as well tear it up and make Donald Trump, no, actually, well, he has to declare himself king like Napoleon. Okay, so isn't that exactly what Democrats say that they're worried about? Isn't that, but yeah, that, that's true. The Democrats say that that's, you know, that, that's, yeah, we did it the, the only problem is, is we, Amer the Constitution is gone. It's, it's ripped up. It doesn't exist. I got arrested three weeks ago, put in jail for opening up a Trump flag in the, on the street. You know, like three years ago, four years ago, they escorted me down the street. So the, so the laws in this country, they're just gone. Gun control laws, done. We have 40,000 gun control laws in the entire country. We should have one gun control, the Second Amendment. One shall not be infringed. So since and apparently you can just do whatever you want in New York City. You can go rob. You can rob. This, whatever, you can rob the, well, you can only get like one thing from the Gucci store for $995, but you can just take it home. Go home and you don't go to jail. There's no more, there's complete lawlessness and complete disregard for the Constitution. So what's the point? Trump for king. That's, that's what we should do. Trump for king. One man, one man to control all of this and put everybody where they should be when they break the law. Okay, so... Um for, uh, for we uh, simple people, yeah. uh, you're saying that you do support the Constitution and you'd like to I see support the Constitution. And yeah. you'd like to see it restored. I, I, yeah, absolutely. But the restoration of the Constitution will never happen. It'll never happen in my lifetime. We will never come together. And everybody says, oh, we're going to come together. We're going to come together. Oh, but as long as you're not wearing a MAGA hat, we'll come together. Because that's what they really want us to do. They want to take off our MAGA hats. They want us to drop all this MAGA stuff. And they want us to join them. We're not joining them. Okay? We will go to war with them before we join them. Get it? What, what, what does that mean? What would that mean, go to war? Well, I'd say we will not come together. Well, we've had a civil war. America's had a civil war. So we could have another civil war, Civil War II, you know, if it, if it happens. But we're not coming back together. The only way we come back together is the way that we did it the last time. The last time when the, when the 13 colonies separated from one another. So war is imminent. What do you think that means for New York City? Ah, New York City's uh, pretty like they're obtuse, you know. They like whatever happens happens, you know. Here in this in this city, you know, maybe more businesses will move out because they'll know that there's so much chaos in this city. Whatever, but we're gonna see because there's gonna be something. Something will definitely happen between now and the election, just like what happened with COVID, just what happened with George Floyd, you know, all over again. Something will happen again. They're not gonna let Trump win again so easily because now that's it. He's guaranteed to win. They're not gonna let it happen. Are you saying that you think there will be a provocation to wait, wait, wait. To a okay. war? Okay, so provocation, two impeachments, four indictments, two civil cases, and a shooting. Is there going to be a provocation? There is a provocation. You're living in it right now today. We've been provocated. We've been provocated. And one of our brothers was shot and killed by a Democrat who has been told to shoot somebody. He was told by hundreds of people, hundreds of journalists, Madonna, Madonna, Madonna ordered him to kill, to kill Donald Trump. You can, only, you can only tell people to call him a Nazi so many times before they take it upon themselves to follow through with their action. So there is no imminent. It's happening now. It actually happened the first time they impeached Trump. So the first time they impeached Trump was the first insurrection against him. That was the first one. And then there's been, now there's, this will be the eighth insurrection against Donald Trump shooting him. Radical, isn't it? That you're actually living, you're living in an insurrection right now. You're living in a civil war right now. We're just keeping this under control. So if you're if you're calling this a civil war right now, yeah. do you think it will? When, when you say there's, you know, it's going to push, we're we're going to be pushed to a war. Do you mean that we're going to Bloody? continue along these lines, or that there will be an actual shooting war? I mean, it could be baseball bats and knives. It doesn't necessarily have to be a shooting war. It could be a geopolitical war. It could be a financial war. They're already doing the financial. That's already happening, right? That's happening. That's, that's guaranteed. You can't say that the prices of everything aren't going up from inflation, and they're doing it to us. So, will a physical war happen? What would happen if Donald Trump, that bullet was one more inch to the left yesterday? What do you think would have happened then? So, we're lucky that that bullet only pierced his ear and didn't go any closer to his brain, because you'd be seeing that civil war today. Okay, so say he wins the election, um, yeah, he becomes president again. Yeah, complete chaos. 
in complete chaos. complete chaos. Yeah, you do remember the year leading up to the election. What ha what the city looked like? I mean, does everybody remember the boarding up of the windows and then they just blame it on uh, whatever COVID and George Floyd? No, that was Democrats trying to stop Donald Trump from being president. So I don't. And when Trump does the mass exodus of the illegal, disgusting, savages, illegal aliens, that's not going to be pretty. They're not going to. They're not going to leave peacefully. I mean, you can look at France. You can look at Germany, Netherlands. You know, Belgium. They don't leave easily. They don't. You can't just grab and go. These people. They're going to fight. So I pray for mass deportations of Ill, disgusting, savage, illegal alien animals, all of them, 100% of them, out of this country. And I think Trump's going to start that process, and it's going to be ugly. Are there um, other things? Okay, so that's obviously one of the things at the top of your list of things you would want him to do uh, upon re-election. Yeah, illegal aliens, what, go. What, what are, like, your top five? Well, the things that he did last time he was president, I want him to repeat what he did last time. I want him to reduce the inflation. I want him to reduce the price of gas. I want him to reduce regulations all over again. So we already know what Donald Trump did for those three and a half years. And of course, COVID came and whatever, threw everything into turmoil. But I want Donald Trump to do exactly what he did before and um, uh, uh, throw out every single illegal alien that's in this entire country. Gone. Out. I've traveled this entire world. I've been to 84 countries. And not one time did I ever just walk into a country and say, can I come in? You know, like, no, 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 no. When I went to, one time I went to, what was it, Vienna, Austria. 18 checkpoints to go through to get into Austria. 18. Okay, so we need to do the same thing here after we get rid of every disgusting, savage, illegal alien criminal. Because 100% of illegal aliens are criminals. Okay, so what if he loses? What if uh, Biden is reelected easy, or easy. some other... Democrat. Easy, what, easy. What, 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 what do you think will happen? Then? I think maybe we'll do another capital tour, an es escorted capital tour again if Trump loses. That just like the last one, because I was there. It was an escorted tour of the Capitol. So maybe we'll have another one of those at best. Our problem is we're too nice. That's our problem. That's that's the Republican. That's the conservative's biggest problem. Democrats are evil, disgusting, miserable, self-loathing savages, but we're too nice. So I hope that probably the worst thing that we'll do is do another capital tour, guided capital tour. But beyond that, for the political future, who do you see? That's it. It's over. It's how how over. do you see the? It's over. If we can't, Trump if we can't, if we if we can't forward. win in November, we deserve to lose forever. That's the way I look at it. If we can't, we can't beat these motherfuckers in November. We deserve to lose forever. Okay, because this is. I mean, enough is enough. So I I don't care if if we lose in November. If it's Trump and Biden and we lose, I don't care. I don't care. Just do what they want now. At that point, maybe I'll even join the Democratic Party. Because I'm so frustrated with these Republicans and pussies, these conservatives that won't come out and fight for, the, for, for us. So if they're not going to fight, why should I fight? Why should I go down with the sinking ship? I might, I might go down. I might join the Democratic Party if Biden wins. And I am the most staunch conservative you will ever meet. Yeah, Gabib? Thank you.